Authorities told us yesterday that Travis County Sheriff Sally Hernandez in the jail let a convicted gang member bond out of jail even though agents wanted him deported. Today, Sheriff Hernandez says ICE is not telling the truth and she believes this criticism is politically motivated. KXA and political reporter Phil Prazen spoke with her today and has the story. Last month, Julio Cesar Mendoza Caballero bonded out of the Travis County Jail after he was charged with assault, a Class A misdemeanor. Sheriff Hernandez says she emailed immigration officials about him, waited six hours after that for them to produce a removal order or a warrant, and they did not, so she let him bond out. You know, cooperating with immigration is doesn't necessarily mean doing their work, but it really means treating them like any other law enforcement agency, and that's what we've done. Mendoza Caballero has been deported four times and yet returned to Travis County. Hernandez says her policy ensures victims can see criminals get punished instead of just getting tossed out of the country. They um, are tried for their charges and if convicted and sentenced to prison, they go to prison. I took that point to the chair of the county Republican Party, Matt Makoviak. Her position is illogical. He says she might have a case if the man was arrested for jaywalking, but not for a violent crime. She ran for the top law enforcement job in Travis County. Her job is to do that job and to protect the public. Releasing a serious, seriously dangerous person back into our community does not do that. Immigration officials did not respond to our request for an interview. They arrested Mendoza Caballero a month after his release at a home in Austin. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. And this controversy comes after Sheriff Hernandez began a new policy in February when she said she would only hold criminals for federal immigration officers if they committed one of a few crimes. Those include capital murder, first degree murder, aggravated sexual assault, and continuous human smuggling. But in September, Sheriff Hernandez says she will comply with Senate Bill 4, which passed the legislature earlier this year. It changes the Travis County policy requiring the jail to hold anyone in the U.S. illegally for federal immigration officials. Austin police recovered $2 million worth of 